Hi YouTube, welcome back. I feel like I've been doing YouTube a little poorly. I wanted to get more with the trends and kind of be more traditional with my YouTube channel. I don't want to put out creative ideas just yet. I just want to start riding the wave of everybody else first. And today I will be doing a day in the life of what I eat. I'm going to go to a vegan festival pretty close to my home. From here on out, I will be videoing everything that I eat. I'll explain it and I'll tell you exactly what it is, what's in it. So everything today will be vegan. I want to try out new foods. The one thing I'm super, super, super excited for is vegan donuts. I've been in the mood for a donut for weeks now and I've only been vegan for like a month now. Another thing about my veganism is that I support honey. I don't really understand what the big deal about honey is. Everybody makes this big scene about, oh, it's bad for the bees and stuff, but I thought cross-pollination and stuff like that was good. So educate me if you know more about this topic, but for me, I don't give up honey. I really hope you guys have fun today and I hope I have fun. I hope I enjoy all the food. I'm kind of scared because I feel like trying new things is always scary because you might not like it, but then Trying new things is also like really good because you can love something and fall in love with like a brand new product. But that's also kind of bad because you can become obsessed with it, like the Impossible Burgers. I don't know if you guys know what those are, but I started getting those so often and they're so bad for you. There's so much saturated fat in them. No good for you, but hey, try new things. Can we do the new products you like? Okay, so first things first, glasses, because without these, I cannot see a thing. I don't know why I just shot the whole intro without them because it makes no sense whatsoever. But I'm gonna come downstairs and have some breakfast. All right guys, so since I am going to that vegan fest later, I'm just gonna have a small breakfast because I'm not really even that hungry, but I do know I'll need some fuel to like walk around and stuff like that, you know? So I'm gonna start off with some toast with some peanut butter and blueberries because blueberries are my absolute favorite and they were on sale, so mm, delicious. I also just wanted to point out that Justin's peanut butter may not be vegan. I'm not really entirely sure, but they do use palm oil, which is what makes it not vegan. But if you look here, it says that it is orangutan free, or I mean, orangutan free, orangutan friendly, but I'm not sure if it still damages the rest of biodiversity in like rainforests and other heavily biodiverse places. So if anyone knows, please let me know in the comments because I eat this only because it was on clearance and not because I buy this brand. I usually just buy a brand called Just Peanuts and it's really just peanuts. Alright, now a peanut butter toast wouldn't be anything without a cup of milk, so I just wanted to make sure that I added that in there. I want to talk to you guys about something and that is my absence on YouTube and there's really no direct reason for it, but I did start a full-time job, so there's like 40 hours of my week, you know, already being taken up there. But along with that, I've just also been at like a creative stunt. And I'm not really saying that this is like creative in any way, but I just don't like getting on the camera and doing all this like editing stuff. It just takes up so much time. Obviously, I have zero obligation to do any of this, but I think it's fun. I really do hope that I start to have more of a YouTube presence because it is fun. And I really do hope that I can educate you because I really want to take the whole vegan food lifestyle choices onto my channel and offer ideas for my viewers as well as just have a dialogue conversation about what I eat, what other people eat, what people have for ideas, how people get protein, how people work out and still maintain body mass. All of these are super interesting things to me and I really, really, really do hope that I can bring them to my YouTube channel. Quick update, after I ate the blueberries and everything, I went outside and sat on the porch. I'm not saying that that's like a strenuous activity in any way, shape, or form, but I was out there for a while and I was so hungry and I was like, uh, I didn't want to film anymore because I have to shower because my hair looks so bad, but I really wanted to eat more, so I'm actually like restraining myself so bad right now from like just taking it out, but uh, I think I'm gonna have like a little bit bigger of a breakfast before I head out. Since I'm so hungry and I'm finally showered and I look a little bit more presentable, not that great, I do need to get a haircut and everything, but I'm going to eat some oats before I leave because oats are like the fuel that power me every single day. I drink oat milk, I'm gonna have an oat milk latte for the road, and then oats, 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 oats and grains, I feel like a cow.
said that I wanted to add blueberries to this oatmeal, but this smells fantastic. I know it does not look good. But chocolate and coconut, mm. Let's replicate chocolate. I don't think it tastes like chocolate. It tastes like off-brand chocolate. And kind of like molasses. I'm not gonna lie, it tastes like molasses. Okay, so one final thing before I leave. I'm gonna have an oat milk latte, which if you've never had oat milk, it's so delicious. It's certified vegan. What does it say? Vegan? Vegan? So good. Okay, shouldn't be vlogging, but like... Are those sideways? Or am I high? So I went to pack up the donuts. Um, I reached in the bag and grabbed them because I lied. Let me take a minute. Just one time. Just one more. Okay, so I found this on my launchers. You get so many toppings on there, but I just did not want to. You get like jalapenos and stuff. I'm not about that life. You can see all the festival tents behind me. There's literally hundreds of vendors. Like, I want to buy so many different things, but I literally can't afford it. <laughs> I really just wanted to get like the grossest treats because literally vegans don't do that ever. So I stopped the recording because my phone's dying, but I promise I'm just going to get ice cream and then I'm just going to be right back. You can take my word that I'm going to finish every single nacho. So I waited 45 minutes in line for them to run out of ice cream. So they only had drumsticks and sandwiches. So I got a drumstick because I hate ice cream sandwiches so much. I usually can't bite into ice cream, but for some reason this kind is so easy to bite into. It's so good. So creamy, so thick. to check in and say the delicacy of eating ice cream like this is like unmatched like I feel so good just eating like a drumstick and having no regrets mm. I mean obviously it's like really sugary but like don't gotta think about murder don't gotta think about dairy guys I'm finally back in my car not finished with my ice cream yet it's so thick and so sugary and I've eaten so much today. I feel so ill. All right guys, so I just left Planet Fitness and now I'm gonna refuel with a little bit of protein. This is the only vegan option that they have there. So if anyone comes for me saying, oh, that's so unhealthy. I know it has cane sugar and I know it's not the best for you, but it's at least a little bit of protein. I really don't have any protein with me right now. I was hoping to get some um, like protein shake mix at the festival I went to, but it, there just wasn't anything there. It's whatever, but I'm having a Lenny and Larry's complete cookie. It's the macadamia, macadamia nut with white chocolate chips. Mm. Not bad. It's not good either, but it's not bad. It's like a little bit wet, like pretty wet. It almost tastes like cookie dough. And the chocolate chips are really hard. And I do have Smile Direct Club, so I've been wearing my retainers and it does hurt my teeth a lot just to chew like anything. This is officially turned into an everything I put into my mouth video. I will be drinking a pineapple light by Libby's and it's literally just pineapple juice with citric acid and water. So the citric acid and water is just a dilution of like, you know, pineapple juice. But there's no extra sugar and I got it for almost 80% off. Cannot beat that. It's not the best in flavor. I'm not going to lie, like it leaves a bad aftertaste, but pretty good on a summer day. Mmm.